Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing another DIY bride video. In today's video, I'm doing a haul from my bridal shower because I know how much you guys love hauls. I also am sharing a bunch of updates with you guys, like our wedding invitations, the outfits for the groomsmen, and all that good stuff. But before I get into it, if you are new, please subscribe and like, and I will have as many things in the description box as I can find, as many links for everything I talk about. So I really hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. So I'm going to start with the haul because I know a lot of you guys will want to see that first. So the first thing I wanted to mention was the top that I'm wearing, and my sister actually placed an order on an Etsy store for these. They're really comfortable and cute. She got one for all of the bridesmaids, for the maid of honor, and obviously for me. So I will have a link for that Etsy store down below. I just think it's a really cute idea for the bachelorette weekend, party, shower, for the wedding, for getting ready, just whatever. I just think they're fun and cute. So yeah, I will have a link for that down below and I'll get into the presents, which a lot of the things are home decor since we just bought a house or yeah, things like that. And the next thing in my lap here are these jars by Kate Spade. I thought these were so adorable. The tall one says a little bit of this. And then the short one says a little bit of that. And I will probably put these in the kitchen, but I also was thinking like, should I put some makeup brushes in these? Like they're just that adorable and the top is wood. It seals really nicely. I just think these are so cute. And the next thing are these coasters, which are also by Kate Spade. I just thought these were so cute. They all say something different. So the first one says all in good taste. And the next one says stirring the pot. I think this one is my favorite. It says to eat cake for breakfast. And the last one, it says adding the sauce. So I thought those were really cute. And it's like simple, but it stands out a little with the stripes. So I really like that. And the next thing is a terrarium, terrarium. Honestly, I do not know which one, which word is right, but I just think this is really cute. It has like a bunch of fake plants in it, rocks, fake dirt. So I thought that was really cute. And the next thing is this picture frame. We plan on doing like a photo wall that has all white frames with photos that are black and white inside. So that will be perfect for that. And the next thing is this sign that says love, obviously. I thought this was really cute, so I will probably put this in our bedroom. I also got some copper mugs for Moscow Mules. I thought these were really awesome. It's one of those things that I probably wouldn't buy for myself, but I'm really happy someone else did, if you know what I mean. So it's Friday today, so we probably will use these tonight, but I'm really excited about these. I don't even know the last time I actually had a Moscow Mule inside a copper mug, so really looking forward to using these. So I also got another fake plant, which I guess I'm pretty much obsessed with fake plants because I obviously have two in my background and then fake plants for my shower. I don't know. I just like, I love a mix of like real and fake plants and flowers and stuff like that. So I thought this was super chic looking. I think it's from Target as well. And it has just like a faux cement pot. It has some marks on it. Like it's supposed to look slightly distressed. I just really like how it looks and the size of it and all of that. So I got that. I also got a really cute sweatshirt from Chad's sister and his niece. And it looks like this. It says Auntie Bear on it. And it's just super, super soft. I think it's part of the Mama Bear line. I don't know if that's what it's called, but like on Instagram I've seen the tops that say mama bear and baby bear and like all that kind of thing I think it's from them it does say it's a size large and I feel like it fits like a medium in adult sizes so just for reference in case you guys want one the sizes are kind of like that I will have a link for it down below if I can find it but really comfy really cute I'm sure I'm forgetting some things because I sat down and I realized I forgot all that stuff and I just like ran around the house for things so pretty much everything was put away but if I forgot something I love it I'm thankful if you're watching this video and you got me something I didn't mention I love it I just wasn't able to find it when I was running around so I also wanted to mention the party favor and by the way my bridesmaids planned everything they did such a good job it was honestly like really nice really beautiful like super thought out so I thought this was really cute it says Alex and Chad on it like a little sticker and then it's a candle and it looks like this it's in like a tin can so I thought this was really cute I love party favors when they aren't like food or sweets or things like that I just think things like this are really thoughtful so I think this was again an Etsy purchase if I can find it I will link it for you next are the invitations and I'm just going to hide the address and all that stuff. Obviously I can't share that, but 
Here are the invitations I went with, and the smaller one is the RSVP card. So I just thought these were really pretty. Like they're a little bit simple, but I just think they were really nicely done. I love like the font and the style of everything. So I kept it pretty simple. It just has our names, the date, the time, all of that good stuff. And then on the bottom, I put like our wedding website. I think that's a really good idea if you have a lot of information and you don't want the invitation to look like there's just like way too much stuff on it. I think that's a really good idea. And then I also had um, the addresses printed on the envelopes. That's an upcharge, but I just think it looks really nice. And they also put the flowers from this on the envelope. So I just love it. I think it looks like super, super nice. I definitely think it's worth a little bit of an upcharge. And I'm just really happy with them. I wanted them to be like a rectangle style, like the save the dates, because that way I can put them in a side-by-side -side frame and it's symmetrical. I just think it looks really nice that way. So yeah, those are the invitations. Oh, and I will have a link for these down below in case you guys want to check out the style. I'm just obsessed with this style. I think it's really, really pretty. So yeah, that's the invitations. And then next are the outfits for the groomsmen. So I had a really hard time picking them just because at the end of the day, I just feel like these outfits are like so cheesy. I mean, it's like a bunch of men wearing the same thing. I know it's a wedding and like that's what you do, but I was just like having a hard time finding something I didn't think was super tacky. So we just placed an order for everything. So I will have some photos for you guys, but we did a white button down with some light blue pants and then the belt and the shoes will be brown. And then we also are doing suspenders and a bow tie. I just think that's really cute. So we are doing like striped suspenders. And then for the bow ties, I wanted them to coordinate with the bridesmaids dresses, obviously. So everyone will have a bow tie that is a different color that will go with someone's dress. That way when everyone's walking down the aisle with their person, it will just look like that person's supposed to go with the other person, if you know what I mean. So I'm really excited about that. I think that will be really cute. Can't wait to see like everyone in their outfit. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. And do I have anything else to share? I think that is pretty much everything. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.